true. Very true. But I just, I think it's that, like I said before, it's that incremental. Sure. Right now, this shit is ludicrous to people. Mm -hmm. But a lot of shit that is normal to us nowadays mm -hmm. was fucking ludicrous to people 100 years ago. Well, yeah, this, this whole, I mean, well, the whole idea of transgendered acceptance, I mean, it would have been laughed out of the room when our parents were going to high school. Yes. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't have even seen the light of day as far as an issue was concerned. And I still don't now think it does. that it's an issue. Well, I mean, there's some it's a things fetish. there's some things about it that are meaningful. It's a fetish. but I, it's a fetish. Okay. If I like to <laughs> fuck a chick, but I can only do it if I'm smearing cake all over her and me. Mm -hmm. I see. There's no different between that. And the only time I like to fuck a person is if they also have a dick and I'm doing it in their butt. It's a fetish. Homosexuality is a fetish. Transgenderedness is a fetish, essentially. I want to dress like a girl and pretend that I'm a girl and be fucked by a girl. I want to pretend like a girl. So you totally disagree with the whole idea that sexual orientation... So, so I'm not, is not saying... So, so people aren't gay. I'm not saying... It's say a choice, then. I'm not saying... One way or the other, because I have yet to see anything that is quantifiable and, qu quantifiable and concrete one way or the other. Huh. I've seen people say that sexual orientation, being gay, straight, whatever, that that is a societal thing, that that's something that you learn through living in society. And I have seen things that say it is a biological thing that you are attained through birth. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not attracted to men. Right. Would you say that that is a societal thing? Or would you say that that is a birth ingrained genetic thing? I think it would be a genetic thing. Why? What? Because I've messed around with guys before. Okay. But I don't get attracted by men. Okay. So, is my attraction to men a genetic thing? Or a thing that's in my mind? You just said you messed around. You say you're attracted to men, then. Apparently not physically. Because when I messed around with men in the past, physically there was no reaction. I'm just wondering how, so this, maybe, video, how this video is going to end. <laughs> so maybe romantically, I like the idea of a nice looking penis. <laughs> but okay. physically, uh -huh. I didn't enjoy the experience that I had the one time that I was capable of attaining my romantic fantasy <laughs> let's put it that way i hope everybody stays tuned for the end of this <laughs> because these and likewise and likewise fat girls okay not attracted to them okay is that a genetic thing or is that a societal thing I, because i've had the same physical reaction I think it's with a fat girls thing. as i had with a man no i think it's a genetic thing you think it's a genetic thing sure what you what turns you on what genetic how does that it? What, has your has what turns you on throughout your life has that really changed that much yes really yes how because i used to think trainings were disgusting now i've i've seen a couple <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> I think that that might. I think that that might. Well, maybe the you gap. just weren't exposed to what you. <laughs> that's what, what I'm you, saying. What you, what, what you that's, knew. That's what I'm saying. You'd be amazed at the amount of training porn that's on my it computer. Didn't fit into... <laughs> but they're all attractive I would be women. A, there is a, an amount of training porn on your computer that I would be amazed by. Like. <laughs> Well, maybe not because I mean, for a long time. I mean, a lot but, is one word, but uh, the amount that I'd be amazed. Let's by. just say more than Tommy has on his computer, <laughs> and he's actually been there, and done that. Those are just personal pictures, though. <laughs> I almost had him. I almost, almost, had him. almost picked it. Anyway, I, I, I thought this video but, was. But, 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 any, but anyways, anyways, I'm yeah, going back. Go back well, to that. Okay, but we're getting so off is, topic is a my, bit is here. my. Well, no, this is actually this is really the topic when it comes down to it mm -hmm. to say that your genetics are wrong because you were born with a penis but your mind thinks like a girl well that i mean i think i i think some doctors might argue that it's not it, the genetics aren't wrong just the, the 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 physiological portion of the genetics don't match the mental so a gay man so all gay men essentially should be transgendered because well, they should be trying to become women because they're attracted to men. 
Say it one more time. All gay men uh-huh. should be transitioning into women because of the fact that genetically no, they're attracted to no, men. No, because their sexual orientation, it, it, it makes sense with their gender. Who assigns gender? Do- Nature, doctor, God, whatever. Yeah, doctors. The doctors, do, yeah, doctors. Well, who assigns sexual orientation? Nature does. And how does nature decide what your sexual orientation is? Part of it is, ge- yeah, genetics. Yeah. So, genetically, mm-hmm. men could be attracted to either gender. Yeah, sure. How does that make sense, Tina? They can be attracted to either. There's bisexual. That's a that's do you, something. Do you understand the term propagation of the human species? Yes. Would you say that we are genetically coded to propagate our species? Absolutely. So why then could we also be genetically coded to not propagate our species? Because in any sample size, there can be Mutations. differences. Yeah, mutation. It could be a mutation. Yeah. So homosexuality is a mutation. I didn't say that, but it's a. You it's did a, say that. It's a, you no. I specifically said, said no. I said differences. If, if I differences. said and I said mutations, and you said yeah. But a mutation so if, is not a. It's not necessarily a difference, though. A mutation. A muta- the definition of a mutation is a difference in the genetic strain. Yes. Your brown eyes are a mutation. It's not a mutation that's different from mine because I also have brown eyes. Okay. But it's a mutation from somebody who has blue eyes. Okay. Your brown hair, same process. Your penis, same process. Okay. The penis is actually, actually to be a male is a mutation on our base genetic structure. Okay. Yep. Every baby is a female until the mm-hmm. y, the other X chromosome changes into a Y chromosome. Yep. So it is that mutation that makes us whatever we are. Okay. So how is it that we can also not only be genetically structured to be male or female and propagate our species and also to be genetically structured as male or female and to not propagate our species well, because, because you you homosexuals well, can't propagate our species i agree a man can't have sex with another man make yep, babies i agree right genetically we are programmed <clears throat> to do that if you're born with a penis, you're born with a vagina, you're born with testicles, you're born with ovaries, mm-hmm. which means that the things in the testicles go through the penis, go into the vagina, into the uterus, make babies. Sure. Genetically, we are structured for that. Mm-hmm. As far as our genders are concerned, that is technically the only thing genetically that we are created for. <clears throat> as far as strictly our genders are concerned, the fact that you have a penis is so that it can pump fucking cum. And the fact that a woman has a vagina is so they can receive that cum and make fucking babies. Mm -hmm. Genetically, that is the way we are structured. How can we possibly be genetically structured to propagate our species in a way that our biology is set that way? And yet also be genetically structured because in our minds. Because there's two different things to at To think work that we aren't going to do that. Because there's two different things at play. Yes, exactly. Perspective and genetics. I'm saying that the perspectives don't mean the genetics are what you think your perspective is. But I think perspective is altered by genetics, though, too. It can be influenced by your genetics. Yes. Most men generally want to fuck women. Yes. That's how our perspectives are altered by our genetics. Well, well but if it works that way, it's got to work the other way, too. If, yes, if women are gay, genetically <laughs> supposed to be no, fucking men. No, no, no. You, you're, you, you are programmed to want to propagate the species because you have a vagina or you have a penis, but your brain is telling you, I am only turned on and want to do things that would lead to the propagation of the species, even though it might not make sense logically with someone of the same gender. You said earlier, everything you you just said to me just wrung out my mind is asinine. (laughs) Well, I'm sorry. Human beings. Along with... The video's getting boring now. Every other creature... Oh, I think this is the most interesting part. It's Human not. beings, along with everything else in creation that is an animal, more or less. Some animals work differently than others. Nevertheless. Mm-hmm. Males. Mm-hmm. Females. 
What you do from there isn't genetic. It is your mindset. I don't like many women. That I think they're horrible people most often, more often than not. Uh huh. But I love fucking bitches. Everything in my mind says dangerous, horrible, don't do that. Kind of like a poison label mm -hmm. on, a, on a product. Yeah, but it's not telling you to... It's not making you want to bang men, though. Like, those voices aren't telling you that. Or are they? <laughs> well, again, I said, romantically, mm -hmm. I like the idea of a well-sculpted penis. <laughs> but when confronted with one, <laughs> I just can't do anything with it. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? I, I, I hear now, was saying. I genetically created to be confused in that manner? But I, that I can masturbate the penis all day long and come like a fucking fire hose, yet whenever there's a dick right in front of me, I just don't want to touch it? Is that my genetics? Or is that my mind? Saying that mentally, this turns me on, and so my body reacts. I don't see... A difference either way, I guess, because your your mind, what 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 you prefer, is something that is genetic. What? You're genetically predisposed to propagate to think, the species. To, it, that's not the only thing you're genetically predisposed to. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's not. As far as gender is concerned, absolutely, yes, it is. <laughs> you're genetically predisposed to liking certain things. Really? Yeah. Because I hated sour cream until I was like in my 20s and then I love sour cream and okay. I eat it on everything. So was I genetically predisposed to hate sour cream until my 20s and then to love it from that point on? This is why I say your things points are kind of asinine. Though. No, things change though. In my genetics? Sure, things can change. Things can get altered. Mutations occur. Not after I'm done being born and grown, you fool. Our genetic structures don't change in one generation. Like your genetic structure, I can tell you this for certain, as 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 a scientific fact. I, when you were born, your genetic structure, if they would have taken a little skin cell and right. taken your genetic structure, and they were to do that now, thirty six years later, it'd be the fucking same. I get that. Yes. So you're saying that mindsets change, though. <laughs> This is why this is why it's such a ridiculous argument. I'm sitting here effortlessly countering your points and you're struggling for a way to make your side make sense. Okay, well you've thought about all this shit for at length. Too. Honestly, this is a subject that until really right now when I started discussing it, I actually thought that homosexuality was genetic too. But the more I'm thinking about it right now in this moment, the more You're I'm beginning to change my point of view. <laughs> and that's why I'm keeping this fucking video going. I'm probably not going to include all of this in this video. This will probably just be another video that will be me and you discussing You're genetics. Asshole. But nevertheless, dude, honestly, uh -huh. it, it never really occurred to me until now. I, I honestly think that it's a fetish. So then it's just a perversion. And well, we, no. I didn't say perversion. Well, what's a fetish then? A fetish is a different way of doing something. It's a different way of being around. Would you that say... would be a perversion. Would you... Would you perversion a, is the a difference. Perver, okay. A perversion of something mm -hmm. is a, is a negative connotation, connotation yeah. of okay. making it somehow corrupted. Okay. A fetish is a different way of doing something. You might love to tie your wife up and beat her with a riding crop. Mm -hmm. Were you genetically predisposed to that? No. So then, if you like fucking dudes in the ass, how are you genetically predisposed to that? And this is no joke. I literally just started thinking this way right fucking now. You, you see what I'm saying, though? But I think there is something... Oh, yeah. Is something what? I was just saying, I was going to say there's... Oh, don't smoke. Come on. There is something that's fulfilled 
that is satisfying on a base level, I think. Yeah, I mean, you're getting very specific when it comes to the yeah, fetish. Yeah, your, your, your base level is the biological endorphin release that comes with orgasming. But that doesn't mean that just because a man orgasms with a man that that is a genetic predisposition. <laughs> why do why would people though like why would people choose to do that in our society like, now well, well, no but I'm talking about like well yes it's a little more accepted now in our society now it's, it straight comes down to victim points if I say I'm gay I get more respect because I'm gay I can demand more respect from other people because I can just say I'm gay man you have such a nihilistic view on things like, it's not nihilistic it's realistic it's 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 really pessimistic, is what it is. It's realistic. You think that's why people say they're gay, though? I think that is the reason why the majority of people nowadays do, yes. Man. Back in other times, the reason why I thought that, or the reason why I think being gay back in, in past times was uh, such a point of contention is because it was such a point of contention. If you were gay, you were somehow bad. You know what I mean? Like back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, even when we were kids, if you were gay, it was somehow bad, mm -hmm. right? But if you were into, say, the masochism, it was somehow bad mm -hmm. because it was a perversion. Yep. If you were into food sex, it was somehow bad because it was a pervert. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are you saying people that partake in bestiality, they were genetically predetermined to like animals? No. So how can you say that this is a fetish I think there's, I but think this there's... isn't? I fuck animals, that's my fetish. That's a fetish. I fuck men and that's my genetic predisposition and that's why I fuck men. I have no control over that whatsoever. I... I, I... I don't know. I just, I just really, really feel like you're wrong. <laughs> you want to tell me I'm wrong, but you can't tell me a way that I'm wrong. Okay, I'll give you the fact. I'll give you that. I can't argue as to why you're wrong, but I really feel like you are wrong. Liberals. <laughs> that's that's a, that is the foundation of the liberal faith. No, it's, I I'm can't saying... tell you why you're wrong, but I feel that you're wrong. And my feelings trump your truth. <laughs> That's not what I said. I just feel like there's an answer out there that I don't know what that answer is just yet in this setting right here. Here's the answer. It's a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> if this is a fetish, and this is a fetish, and this is a fetish... How is this genetics? If fucking animals is a fetish, fucking food is a fetish, fucking cars is a fetish, and that's actually a real thing. I know. Fucking men and women, that's a, that's a gender thing, or that's a, that's a genetic thing. Fucking men, mm -hmm. that's a genetic thing. But fucking male animals, that's a fetish. Well, I, well, I, would, I guess, here, here's my argument I would pose to you then. I would say then, by your argument, then men fucking women is also a fetish because sure. propagation of the species only relies upon the actual sperm and reproduction being, being yes. fertilized. And so, and if you're having sex with a condom on, you have a condom fetish. Why not? Maybe that's a thing. If somebody says the only way I can get enjoyment out of sex is through having a condom involved. Okay. That's kind of like saying the only way I can enjoy having sex is if I'm fucking a cow. Or the only way I can enjoy having sex is if I'm tied up and beaten beforehand. Okay. It's the same thing. Okay. It's a fetish. Yeah. <laughs> so everything's a fetish in your mind. I would say that men having sex with women for the specific intent of procreation mm -hmm. is the only real, actual, genetic, predisposed form 
of sex. But the enjoyment Everything factor... Everything else, the enjoyment factor has nothing to do with it. I think it does have something to do with it because... No, 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 no. Yes, not, because not, that's Not as far makes, as propagating the species. I think, no. I think you're wrong, though, because... because and it's that very reason why having sex is pleasurable. Okay, okay. Because because if sex hurt, then we would have died off long, long ago. Yes, I understand that. But that is that is a silly way of trying to make your point true. Why though? Why is it silly? Why is that silly? Well, sex feels good in every way until you're raped, right? <laughs> what is your argument? Because sex feels good, then it's genetic, but, no matter how you want to do it. Okay, but rape is not just sex, though. It's No, like, it's not. Yeah. But it doesn't feel good to the person it's happening to. No. So what's your point? Well, the person that it's happening to has no desire to be in that position anyway. Though. There's a lot of times I've had sex and didn't have the desire to be in that position. <laughs> okay, but still. It's not the same thing. It's still fun. It's not rape. <laughs> no, because I was still there. I was yeah, fine yeah, with it, yeah. but it didn't feel any good. Yeah, the, the the there's two things at play here. There's the physiological and there's the psychological. Mm -hmm. The psychological is where the fetish part might may come into play, may not come into play, mm -hmm. but probably does always come into play, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But the physiological part of it, yes, that's what we were designed for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. There's two, again, there's two factors here. Mm -hmm. So yes, you might only want I'm, I'm to... I'm just waiting for you to wrap up the proving of my point. <laughs> I'm not proving your point. I'm, pro proving, I'm my proving my point. your point you're in saying that everything that, is a fetish. You're saying that mental mind. attraction and genetic predisposition for sexual orientation are two different things. And that genetic predisposition mm -hmm. is purely a propagation of the species basis yes our genetic predisposition is to propagate the species the reason you have a penis at all sure is to propagate our species the, the reason a woman side, yes. has a vagina is to propagate our species mm -hmm. it is the only factual basis genetically that you can uh, ascribe to human beings yes is and then, that men have penis women have vagina and the purpose is to procreate and yes so Anything other than male and female intercourse is not for procreation. Correct. It is specifically because it feels good. Thereby making it a fetish. But no, there's another, there's the psychological factor here. I know. There's two things. There's That's what I'm talking about. The male and female parts are the how. The psychological what turns you on factor is the how asterisk. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's two, it's it's not just a black and white argument here. No, it isn't. Because in fetishes there are all mirrors of shades of gray. <laughs> I'm just saying that homosexuality is one of those shades of I gray. I cannot believe you worked that in so quickly. <laughs> and so purely. Like that gets a fist bump. <laughs> you see what I'm saying though? I, I, Genetically. I see what you're saying, but I think your and argument... And here's the reason why... I don't think your argument works all the time, though. I don't. Well, I don't think it works most of the time, because what you're describing as a fetish is what most straight people partake in anyway. It doesn't take into account the pleasure principle of sex in the first place. Because nobody just has sex to... We want to pr reproduce. Oh, if they do, they're they're extremely rare. I, I, I know what I'm saying. I, I know. I I understand what I'm saying. You mm. you clearly don't. Genetically, men are men, women are women. Mm -hmm. The reason why procreation, right? Yep. So anything outside of that, genetically speaking, is fetish. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm so I'm, homosexuality. I'm with, you. I'm with you. Fetish, not genetic. Because homosexualities are a procreational dead end. If I fuck you a million but times. The desire, but the desire to want to have sex is based on your mental state. <laughs> but the mental state is. There's still that underlying genetic. fact. Sure, there is. Yes. You want to have sex because it feels good. And it feels good. It, 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 
and and sex is something that's important because it pro it propagates the species but not with homosexuals it doesn't but it doesn't make it feel any less good though that's true but that's a mental thing it's not a mental thing though it still feels good because oh, you're getting down to the chemical reactions in the brain sure so that's what I've been talking about this whole time <laughs> so if I have sex with an animal and have the same you chemical said it reaction. Your, hang on a second. You said it yourself. That once that you love a, a meaty, veiny penis. <laughs> you like that. But looking at it in front of you, looking at it right in front of you, though, if you like, what my, I, don't know out, what I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like on, on, on some other. So girls medium, gotta have really nice tits some, and a really some, good sized dick for me to want to suck it. Fair enough. In some other medium, I've seen it's, a couple. It's of pleasurable, them. but in the flesh, it's not. Yes. Okay. Is that a genetic thing, though? I would argue yes. There's a pleasure factor at play there. Yes. But that's not genetic. That's mental. I think that's part genetic, though. So my genetics can dictate how my body releases endorphins. I, 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 would, I don't know 100% the answer to that question, but I would guess that it's yes. I do. It's no. Genetics have nothing to do with how your endorphins are released. The, the, the human body, for as complex as it is, is pretty basic when it comes down to it. Stimulus makes your body react according to, in a, in a, in a well-working system, mm -hmm. according to what it should do. You see something funny, your brain releases chemicals mm -hmm. that up your... Uh, 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 I'm losing the word. Uh, euphoria level uh -huh. to the point where you laugh out loud. Okay. Other things raise you. The roller coasters raise your you know, release, you know, fear, adrenaline, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, and that raises your euphoria level to where you scream with joy. Mm -hmm. Right. You see an attractive. You see an attractive woman, and that stimulates your brain. Because your brain, in its thought process, finds it attractive, mm -hmm. thereby releasing endorphins and whatnot that raises your mm -hmm. right, and yeah. you find that girl attractive. Yeah. There's Why do I find nothing genetic though? about that. There's nothing why genetic I... about that process. There's nothing genetic about. But why don't? Why doesn't the same thing happen when I see a guy? Because you aren't attracted to men because your brain don't work like that. Why doesn't it work like that though? Because you just don't think that way. Why though? But you're saying I'm conditioned. Because right? because because you have never seen the right penis that's made you think, <laughs> oh my God, I want to put that in my mouth. True. And until I that's saw true. Carolina Ramirez, that's I never true. thought that either. But I got to tell you... She's got some nice fucking titties, and she's a really pretty girl, and she's got a giant cock. <laughs> but if I were to actually be introduced to her, and if we were to be alone, and she were to say, suck on this hog, I don't know if I could bring myself to do it, because mentally, if it were on video, I don't though, think that I could wrap my mind around that. If it were on video, though? Well, if it was you for the make channel, the sacrifice. I'd do just about anything yeah, for the channel. make the sacrifice. Now, if she were to fuck me in the butt and jerk me off at the same time, I guarantee you I would come. Oh, true that. Because it's genetics that makes that happen. <laughs> that's I don't think anything that's... about her cock being in my ass is going to please me mentally. <laughs> but the genetic factor at play makes it work. Sure. That's a good answer.